in process. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Top SST channel. Today, as we all know that CBSE has released the date sheet and your SST paper will be on 14th of May. So mark this uh, date. Uh, so I thought as we have covered all the chapters, important question from today onwards, we will be starting the sample paper discussion. And this sample paper is released by CBSC. Okay, so the first sample paper, what we are going to discuss is which has been released by CBSC board itself. So as we all know, you must have written the pre-board also by now, the students, you must have uh, also like uh, aware of the pattern, but quickly we can just go through what will be the pattern of your uh, term two uh, exam. Exam will be for 40 marks and the paper will be divided into five sections, A, B, C, D. The first section will have five questions of five, two marks, okay, and then Section B will have three questions, which will be for three marks. Then you will be having two questions for five marks. That is your section C. Section D will be having case-based question. There will be two case questions. Two case-based question consist of your eight marks, okay? So uh, question number 11, suppose for example, there will be three question, one, two, and three. The first one will be for one mark, second one will be one marks, and third one will be two marks. Same thing for question number 12 also. So section D is for eight marks. And the last one is your math skilled question, which will be carrying three marks. So history will be having one marks where you need to just identify and geography will be for two marks where you will be getting choice also. So there will be no internal choice, but yes, the question wise choice will be there and you need to attempt the question, whichever you know the best. So this will be your question paper pattern for 40 marks term two 2022 exam. Okay, section one, as I said, said there will be five questions. Let's see, start solving the sample paper. The first question is, how did the non-cooperation movement unfold the cities and towns? Okay, this, if you remember, we have, even I have done in my uh, uh, previous video, which, uh, which has covered the chapter nationalism in India. So here your keyword, there also I told you, you need to understand the keyword here is unfold. So how did the non-cooperation movement unfold in the cities and towns? The question is for two marks. Okay, so you can write any two point. Okay, the CBSC is also telling any relevant, any relevant point, any two point. But as I always say, club, there are a lot of points we have. Okay, six points we have. So club two points in one point and four, convert your four points into two points. So unfold how it has happened. That is non-cooperation movement, how it has unfolded in the cities and towns. The movement started with the middle class participation. Okay, how the movement started, the first one movement started with the middle class uh, participation, where the thousands of students left the government controlled schools and college. So these two can be your first point. So the movement started with the middle class participation, where the thousands of students left the government controlled schools and colleges. Then many teachers and lawyers have resigned their uh, resign and the lawyers gave up their legal practices. The council elections were boycotted. Okay, and foreign goods were boycotted, liquor shops picketed, and foreign clothes burned in huge bonfire. Okay, so out of this, you can write any two point, but as I always suggest, this two will be coming together. Or you can write these three under one point, okay, where you can write students, teachers, and lawyers, they gave up their jobs, uh, left the school, teachers resigned. The council election were boycotted. So this is your proper two points, okay? Though they have written different, different, this is the entire, this is the perfect answer key what has been given by the board. But as I always tell you, it is always better to club the points and give the answer. Okay, so out of this, you can write any two, but my suggestion is teachers, lawyers, and students, please club together and make one point. Even if it is coming for three marks also, that time also you can do that only. 
let's move to the next one why is tourism considered as trade if you remember this question also i have told very very important uh, during my video so tourism how now tourism is considered as trade so first why tourism because it contribute the foreign exchange okay the first point itself because as the foreign tourists when they co come to the country they contribute to the foreign exchange many people directly engage in the industry so that's the reason what they get they get employment tourism provides support to the local handicrafts when the tourists visit india for the medical tourism eco tourism adventure tourism cultural tourism and business tourism so out of this any two points you can write this is your geography chapter lifeline of national economy they have given the page number also the answer is there in page number 88 so the first point as i say you can write foreign exchange when you are going to write the second point many people are directly engaged in the tourist industry make sure that you mention tourist industry provides the employment opportunity to thousands and millions of people it provides support to the local handicrafts and uh, tourist uh, tourist visit india for medical tourism and other purposes also so any two point will be valid the next one differentiate between one party and two party system this is from your political party the chapter political party okay the question is from uh, that chapter so one party with the name itself the country where only one party is allowed to control and run the government there is two parties countries where only two main parties contest election and called two party system example china here your example is united states of america united kingdom so children understand with the name itself one party where it, there will be only one party system which will be controlled which will be the party is only the one which is going to control which is only going to run the government two party where there will be two party okay a and b suppose for example so these two parties will contest election that is called as two party system so this is two marks question this point will be for one marks and this point will be for one marks state the role of reserve bank of india the question is from money and credit okay money and credit reserve bank of india so reserve bank of india if you remember i have told you reserve bank of india is the custodian okay custodian okay why it is called as bankers bank because all the banks open the uh, account in the reserve bank consumers cannot open the account okay so consumer cannot directly have a contact with reserve bank of india we can only have with the commercial banks so what are the role what is the role the first one is on the behalf of indian government that is in india the reserve bank of india issues currency notes okay the key point issues the currency notes on the behalf of central government second it supervises the functioning of formal sources of loan okay formal sources of loan who uh, do that that is the banks okay banks only gives the formal sources of loan so it supervises whether the bank is giving loan to uh, every segment of the society or it is only giving to the rich people okay so it makes sure reserve bank of india makes sure that formal sources of bank do the functioning properly then it monitors the bank what okay so when they monitor the bank what they monitor they monitor that whether the banks are maintaining the cash balance or not then the reserve bank of india sees that the banks gives loan not just to the profit making business but the traders also so out of this you can write any point because in the question they have not told you write any two uh, role of reserve bank of india so if you are writing four also that's also okay if they ask you state any four reserve uh, role of uh, reserve bank of india then each point will carry half marks but here when they are not specific again my suggestion you can write all four Four, but if you have not remembered all four points, you can write two or three uh, points, and you will be getting two marks. Okay, so issues the currency notes. It monitors the uh, it monitors uh, the banks whether they are maintaining the cash balance or not. Uh, it supervises the functioning of source uh, formal sources of bank, and it also uh, sees that the banks are not only giving loans for the profit making business, but for the traders also. 
Next one, it is the data analyze question. Okay, so what they have given, read the data in the table given below and answer the following. Okay, so what they have given, total production of finished steel in India. So this is from geography, your geography chapter manufacturing industries. Okay, so they have given 2015, 16, 16, 17. So all the data has been given. Compare the 2015, 16 and 2019, 20 data and give any one reason for the reduction of production of steel in 2019, 20. So what they're telling, if I compare 2015, 16, it was um, 106, whereas 19, 20, it has reduced. So what is the reason? So out of this, you can write any one point, high cost or limited availability of coking coal, lower productivity of labor, irregular supply of uh, energy. So if you remember, these all points are, what are the reasons why, like, you know, though we are sufficient in uh, coal, okay, coal production is sufficient, but still we are not at par with other countries. So these are only the points. Out of that only, you can write one point. Okay, next is, why is the production and consumption of steel is considered as an index? If you remember, we have learned for five and three marks question, and here they have asked for one marks. So here, out of this, any one point you will write, you will get the uh, uh, marks. So why it is considered? Because it required export. The steel products are used as a raw material. It provides machinery for ensuring the country's growth. So out of this, any one point you will write, you will get one mark. So one, they are asking you uh, the disadvantage and one, they are asking you why it is advantage. Okay, so these two questions already we have learned as three marks question. Okay, so out of that only you need to pick one, one point and you need to write the answer. Now we are moving into section B where there will be three questions for three, three marks. First one. Why do the most of the rural households still uh, remain dependent on the informal sources of credit? Remember, during money and credit video, sorry, during the money and credit when we were learning, I told you this is also a very important question. You will see that, uh, like, you know, all the questions which I have covered on uh, in my videos, all the questions have come in, come in the CBSE sample paper also. Okay, so sample paper has released afterwards, after my uh, videos uh, has been released. So this question also, I have told that it is one of the very important questions, that is informal sources of credit. Why people depend on informal sources? Sources. The first one, because limited availability of banks. Okay, banks are very limited in the rural area. People don't have a knowledge. Okay, people don't have a documentation. That is, people don't have a collateral with them. Okay, so next one is rural people don't get easy loan because richer household through the informal ways. So these are the points which you need to mention because they don't have a knowledge. Okay, uh, there are uh, uh, knowledge is not much about the banks. Uh, banks were not available. People don't have uh, documentation. People don't have the collateral. So how like, you know, that's the reason they depend more on informal sources of loan. That is, they are depend more on the richer household instead of because richer household when they take or the from the landlords they take, they don't ask for the collateral. Okay, they pay high rate of interest and they uh, easily they get the loan. So that's the reason still in India, informal sources plays a very important role. And recently in the newspaper also it is said, uh, I was reading the newspaper uh, three days back where it is clearly said that 95% of Indians still depend on informal sources of credit. So you can imagine that how in, in informal so, uh, sources of credit has hold their business in the market. The, this question is having an option, okay? So if you see the option, option is from the same chapter, okay? That is from money and credit only. How do the self-help groups help borrow to overcome the problem of lack of collateral? Okay, this also we have already explained. So the question money and credit, Okay, both the question uh, from there, like, you know, in uh, final exam, any choice will be there, okay? But 
the question whatever from which chapter they are going to ask from that chapter only the option will also be there so you don't have any choice to leave the uh, any chapter so all the chapters are very important so how the self help group uh, helps in the overcome the problem of lack of collateral so people can get timely loans okay self help group uh, are regular in their savings which can be used as a monetary help members can take small loans without collateral due to timely payment banks also lend loans to the self help groups so out of this you can write any three points please visit to my previous videos to understand better here i am going little faster because already these all questions we have uh, we have learned next three marks question is tribal peasants interpreted the message of mahatma gandhi and the idea of swaraj in the way and participated in the non cooperation movement differently this is your history question sorry this is your history question from nationalism in india so spread of militant guerrilla movement in godan hills they were against colonial policies their livelihood was affected their traditional rights were denied then you need to write about alluri sitaram raju okay so how what he was like you know he used to wear khadi he gave up drinking he wanted to liberalization by use the force the rebels attacked the police station and carried on guerrilla warfare for the swaraj again this answer has to be like you know all the points has to be covered because this is the whole thing how they have interpreted and you cannot like you know leave any point next one examine the role of examine the role of political parties in the democratic country okay so in democratic country what is the role of political party so this is nothing but role is nothing but your functions okay you have that seven functions which we have discussed so this this is from political parties okay so functions already we have discussed forms and runs the government rule in making policies leaders they elect leaders and train them then parties that choose the election lose the election lose the elections from the opposition party shape the public opinion common man access the government machinery and welfare scheme and uh, so and uh, here dual objective is also there so out of these six point you can write any three you can club the points also and you can mention the Uh, uh, mention uh, more points into one point so parties political one of the important function of political parties they form and run the government and parties also play a devices role in making the policies of the country so this will be your first point second point parties which lose the election they form the opposition party then you can write they shape the public opinion and make sure that all the common man access the government machinery next is your five marks question that is your section c which will have two questions in it so again you will have one op option in this like you know one question will have optional questions so democracy is democracy ability to generate its own support it's oh, an outcome that cannot be ignored this question is from outcomes of politics outcomes of democracy last chapter of political party second last chapter okay so democracy ensures that decision making will be based on norms and procedure no one can deny okay in democracy uh, सारा जो भी डिसीजन मेकिंग होता है वो एक प्रोसीजर होता है देर इज वन फॉर्मैलिटी विच नीड्स टू बी फॉलो एवरी सिटीजन हैज द राइट एंड मीन टू एग्जामिन द प्रोसेस ऑफ डिसीजन मेकिंग डेमोक्रेटिक गवर्नमेंट्स आर अकाउंटेबल एजिमिनेट एंड ट्रांसपेरेंट गवर्नमेंट दिस इज तो वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट पीपल हैव राइट टू चूज देयर रूलर्स डेमोक्रेसी गिव दिटीजन द राइट टू इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द गवर्नमेंट एंड इट्स फंक्शनिंग ओके सो these all points are very important children again i will be telling you you write all this point with your introduction line and with your conclusion line which is very important no cbc sample paper will say that you need to write introduction and conclusion but if you want to score 40 on 40 it is very important that at least one line of introduction and one line of conclusion you need to write 
so i as i told you one option question will be there so you can choose out of these two one question there is an overlying support of an idea of democracy in south asia support the statement with example usually student don't learn this question because they think that south asia hai aayega nahi but this is also very very important question democratic government is people's own government countries from south asia want democratic rights for the people elect their representative by themselves dignity and freedom to its citizen accommodate social diversity based on idea of discussion and negotiation example india nepal bangladesh sri lanka okay south asia ka matlab hi hai these countries okay and if you look at these point ye sare point aapke sub points hain chapter mein so the first is your like you know the first two will be your introduction line uh, type democratic government is a people's own government where south asian countries wanted democratic rights for the people so they elect their own representative dignity and the freedom of citizen accommodate social diversity based on the idea of discussion and negotiation these all are your sub points which we have learned in the chapter outcomes of democracy the next one examine the role of information technology in stimulating the process of globalization batao kaun se chapter se hai yes very good economics chapter 4 globalization and indian economy i told you the chapter can come for 3 marks 4 marks 5 marks very important chapter so technology has been changed rapidly telecommunication facilities have been improved these all are the examples what they have given helps to communicate from the remote areas okay when they are saying remote area yahan pe aap ek example chhota sa de sakte ho that newspaper london newspaper wala okay case study mein two lines mein you give if you want 40 on 40 development of satellite communication device computer have uh, have uh, now entered almost every field of the activity one can obtain and share information through internet okay email electronic and talk uh, voice mail across the world okay so here you can give one more example a small example okay here this point also we are giving example and overall like you know you can write about the pandemic where like you know the uh, elec- uh, technology has played a very important role in the educational system where the schools has been run through various mode of uh, like you know various platforms so there also you can give one small example that will be valid but one example you give it from your case study that as i told you newspaper london newspaper here again you have an option so five marks mein aapko dono questions mein option aayenge okay but the chapter will remain the same same access the impact of globalization so yahan pe jab yahan pe wo impact puch rahe hain children so remember they have not uh, asked you negative impact or positive impact so when this type of question will come it is always better you write the impact like this okay where first you write the positive impact and you write the negative impact also which we uh, which i have discussed before itself in my previous videos but uh, quickly we will see what is cbsc uh, uh, answer key says positive impact more choices to the consumer standard of living again it's a positive investment industries of cell phone again this is your positive impact new jobs has been created positive impact some local companies have supplied raw material again it's a positive impact investment in the newer technology and production again it's a positive impact and this is your example for all this companies provide benefited by the globalization flexibility in the labor law expansion of unorganized sector expansion of an unorganized sector negative impact stiff competition to the local uh, producer again it's a negative impact uh, flexibility in the labor laws which will have your positive as well as negative impact because uh, large number of uh, large number of uh, uh, working hours for the laborers now case based study question so this case if you see this is from your chapter nationalism in india nationalism in india me source hai dekhna right hand side me okay so it is from that 
where they are talking about the satyagrahis okay they are talking about passive reasons said definitely it is about the gandhi ji when he came to india what he has uh, what he uh, asked from the people or like you know what he is telling about satyagraha satyagraha is a pure soul force let's see the question one more uh, uh, thing i want to tell you before you solve your um, uh before you solve your uh, case based question it's always better read the question first and then go to the passage why did gandhi ji consider non violence as a supreme dharma gandhi ji adopted non violence as a philosophy and idea the way of life according to him the philosophy of non violence is not a weapon of the weak it is a weapon which can be tried by all okay so this is again if you read the passage properly you will get the answer how did the, how was gandhi ji satyagraha taken by the people who believed they it does not seek his destruction satyagrahi there is no ill will okay people have taken it very positively why was gandhi ji satyagraha considered as a noble way because one could win the battle through non violence this could be done by appealing to the of the oppressor people including the oppressor have to if you see apne word mein aapko answer likhna hai same to same aap utha ke yahan pe likh doge to you will not get two on two okay so you need to write your points uh, and you need to express uh, express on your own thoughts next one every human appeared on the earth used different means of communication but this is which chapter this is from your lifeline of national economy where they are talking about all the metro channel green channel business channel they are talking about indian postal network is the largest world let's see what is the question they are asking okay so examine the role of indian postal network answer hai agar aap passage mein jaoge social economic development sorry social economic development then you have uh, speed post business post so ye sab points hai aapka difference between mass communication and personal communication mass communication mass matlab hi hota hai which provides entertainment to the larger section of the people which include your radio and television and other things whereas personal communication is one on one analyze the significance of uh, communication for the nation definitely this is the age of communication where we use telephone television film network book magazine newspaper and all this has connected the world closer world has come closer because of the communication system so you can write any one now uh, any one point for this but uh, you have to write two points i think cbsc has done something mistake because it's a two marks question and you have to write two points next is map skill uh, map skill based questions on the given map of so as i told you aapka jo history wala hoga that will be a that will only you need to identify so the place where the non cooperation movement called off due to violence so this is the place chori chora okay on the same map locate okay so yahan pe aap dekho choice di hui hai okay so you have in choice also so uh uh for example uh, the first uh, okay raja sasani international and noida software uh, noida will be somewhere here then you have shri guru ram das the uh, international airport that is a international airport so students make sure that you practice your map carefully and uh, you must be uh, wondering why ma'am has like you know just uh, run through with the sample paper because i believe <coughs> after completing all the chapters i have given enough gap okay then only i have started with the sample paper believing that you all must have studied well and you will be with me when i am solving the sample paper practice well and i know you will be cracking your board exam with the flying color will be meeting again with one more sample paper maybe some from other book or like you know i'll create my own sample paper uh, one of the question paper and we will be discussing on that till then thank you have a nice day study hard it's a study time and make sure that uh, you learn all the questions from the sample paper too thank you